Z0 training uh, consists of two parts. The first one is called basic training. The second one is called advanced training. In the basic training, we're going to cover Z0 overview, Z0 input data structure. Then we're going to talk about some theory of area systems in Z0. And then we're going to talk about aerodynamic inference coefficient matrix generation. And then we're going to talk about aerodynamic uh, modeling guidelines. And we're going to talk about spline and uh, flutter. And, uh, uh, and finally, the static aeroelastic and trim analysis. Zero um, overview. Zero is a software system that integrates all the essential disciplines required for aeroelastic design and uh, analysis. Uh, at the center of Zero is a database management system we, we call ZDM. And all the modules in Zero, they do not communicate with each other directly. Rather, they, they generate the, the data entity and, uh, and, and, uh, and the next module retrieve the data entity and generate new data entities. And so the, the first module in Zero is called High Fidelity Geometry Module. And it, it generates the, the aerodynamic model. Uh, we call a panel model. And the next one is called 3D Spline mod, uh, Module. It, it interpolates the, the, the structure deformation or motion from the structure grid to the aerodynamic, aerodynamic panel grid. And the next one is called Unified ASC, Unified Aerodynamic Inference Coefficient Matrix Module. And, uh, and it computes the so-called ASC matrices at, at the various Mach number and redu reduced frequencies. And the zero itself does not have a final element uh, solver. Uh, it, it imports the, 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 the model solutions from other uh, uh, final element solver like NetGen, Abacus, Answers, and so on. And for the engineering module, Z0 ha has, uh, has a flutter module, aero servo elasticity module, uh, fly loads module, we call it trim module, and the maneuver loads module, we call it M loads module, ejection loads module, we call it E loads, and gas module, we call it G loads, and we have non linear flutter module, and zero can perform sensitivity analysis. And zero outputs uh, 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 graphic files, so <coughs> the user can use other commercial graphic software like a Patron, Femap, Techplot to view the uh, uh, zero solutions. <coughs> High fidelity geometry module can model very complex uh, aircraft configuration as shown here. And, uh, and this is some other four uh, examples of a complex configurations. And then the, the 3D spline module, it, <coughs> it, uh, it, uh, it establish the displacement and then force transfer between the structural final element model and the zero aerodynamic panel model. And it consists of a four spline method that jointly assemble a spline matrix. This four spline methods include the uh, thin place spline method, infinite place spline method, beam spline method, and rigid body attachment method. So, so if, if you have a, uh, a, a mode shape uh, computed by the final element solver at a structure grid, the spline module can interpolate spline or transfer or map uh, the, the mode shape from the structure grid to the aerodynamic panel model. And uh, one of the major strengths of uh, uh, Zero it is it, it can generate the so-called unified aerodynamic inference coefficient matrices for a complete aircraft configuration at any Mach numbers. So showing here, and uh, this is the Mach number from subsonic to hypersonic. Okay, <clears throat> and uh, and we have uh, five methods uh, incorporated in Zero. The first one is called Yonga 6. It's calculate the unsteady, uh, unsteady aerodynamic forces at a uh, subsonic speed. And, and the next one is called Z train. It, it calculates the, the transonic uh, uh, unsteady aerodynamic, uh, aerodynamic forces. And another one called Z sap. It, it calculates uh, the unsteady aerodynamics at Mach, Mach 1. And Yonga, uh, Yonga 7. Calculate the, the unsteady aerodynamics at su supersonic uh, speed, and zone 7 u 
calculate the uncertainty error that I missed at the hypersonic uh, uh, Mach number. And all the method, they, they, they share the same error dynamic panel model. And the panel model uh, can be a, a very complex model, consists of fuse large and, uh, and stores, uh, team missile, and so on. If you compare uh, uh, zero well, with, with, with next chain error elastic module, uh, in natural areas, the module they, they only have a double letters at a sub subsonic and the zone fifty one at, at the supersonic Mach numbers, and they only can model uh, uh, the, the fuselage and 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 the uh, store and so on uh, using flat plane. Okay, they they cannot uh, uh, model uh, those those uh, fuel fuselage and and the tip missile and, and store uh, such uh, 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 a a real body elements. And uh, in zero, we have uh, 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 many, 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 many modules uh, to compute to uh, uh, various area elastic solutions. The first one is called flutter uh, module, and we have uh, two flutter solution techniques uh, in the flutter module. The first one is called G-meter, and the second one is called K-meter. And recently, we ha we have incorporated the PK method in the flutter analysis module, and the, the second the second one is called trim module, and uh, it it calculates the, the the trim loads at uh, at the trim condition, and uh, in uh, the uh, uh, in the basic training, we're going to talk about the flutter module and the trim module. Other module are included in the advanced training. So, so in, in the advanced training, the first one we, we call ASC module, and uh, it, it, it calculates the, 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 the uh, stability of a closed loop air elastic system. So you, you can include uh, the, uh, the control system combined with air elastic system to form a closed loop air elastic system, and, and we can calculate the, the uh, stability boundary of this closed loop system. Maneuver loads module and it compute the, 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 the transient maneuver loads due to a pilot input command, and uh, and it outputs the the loads in terms of natural force and moment both the cars, so the user can insert uh, those cars into uh, his final element model to perform stress analysis. In fact. All the dynamic lo loads module, including maneuver loads, ejection loads, gas loads, and nonlinear flutter module, they, all the module can output loads in terms of the net strength force, force and moment cost. The ejection loads module, it calculates the transient load, e ejection loads due to store e uh, ejection. The next one is called gas module, it, ca it calculates the, 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 the dynamic loads due to discrete gas or continuous gas. The, the final module is called nonlinear flutter module. Module it can perform flutter analysis in the time domain, and with a structure nonlinearity such as uh, a free play. And how to run zero? In the directory where the input file and the structure final element uh, uh, method output file, the, the which is the free vibration solution of the final element model, and reside. And you can type zero, uh, give the uh, the type of the input file name, give the output file file name, and for example, if you type zero, my job dot mp and my job dot oot. However, if you don't type the output file name, and uh, the zero will will replace dot mp by by dot oot. Okay, so 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 the output file uh become my job dot oot, and uh, all output files will be placed in the same folder where the job was submitted after the, 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 the program terminates. And uh, to view all the available available script of the command line options, you, you can type zero dash help. And wh whenever the zero job finish uh, normally, and uh, you, you will hear one beep. If you encounter some fatal error, it will give you two beeps. But if, I, if you don't want to hear any beep, you can type zero notify equals no. And uh, and uh, this is the, all the files uh, 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 processing of zero. So of course you need input file 
and you you need a fine element output file. Uh, for example, for Netran, you you have you have to include dot fo six, and the 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 uh the Netran solution must be performed by solution one o three. And you have another file called dernam dot fix, and uh, the it gives you the path name where the runtime the database are uh, executed, and uh, and uh, this file will be automatically generated when you install zero. Of course, you need a zero uh, license. Uh, server called ZLS, and while you are running zero, zero will create a runtime de database, and after zero uh, uh, job finish, you will delete this runtime database. Meanwhile, you 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 can output the error that I'm inference coefficient matrices, and or you can retrieve the AIC matrices. And on the output side, of course, you have you have output file. You have log file to document the CPU time of each module, and you, you can generate the the, the plot file. You, you can look at the error that I model, and you can display the unsteady pressures, and you can look at the flutter mo motion, and you can look at the interpreted motion on aerodynamic panel model. And the zero license server is called ZLS, and it supports both floating and, and no lock licensing on both Windows and Linux. And uh, you need you, you to run ZLS. You need Java, uh, uh, up uh, up to uh, 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 version 1.6 or higher. And also you you you, you need a, a dongle to uh, to attach to the server. And so if uh, if you have a floating license, uh, and you you can uh, install the, the ZLO software on many many uh, 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 stations. And when you run zero, you will go to the server and to check out one one token. When the job is finished, you will check back the token to the server. And for the no lock license uh, license, uh, and both ZLS and and plus the, the license uh, uh, side uh, software installed on a single user computer uh, machine. And uh, sometimes you you may uh, encounter so so called a lock token problem. And uh, so. If you're running a zero after you, you submit a job, if you, you say if you wanna terminate the job be before the 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 zero job is finished, it, the best one is go to the test manager, and you 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 you, you hit the zero bing dot exe and you 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 end the test, and uh, and make sure you se you select the bing dot uh, exe. Do not select the zero dot exe. E exe. You always select zero bin dot exe. And uh, however, if you have a power failure, and uh, then then you may encounter the so-called uh, the uh, the lock token. Okay. And uh, and uh, so uh, an, an another method. You if you want to uh, kill a zero job, you can use con control C. Okay. And uh, and but but when whenever you are running zero in 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 a window, if you click here, you close the window, you also may uh, have the so-called lock token problem. Once you have a lock token problem, you can go into uh, this, this folder ZLS and uh, lock, and and uh, there is a uh, a uh, uh, computer uh, code called cleanup.exe on Windows and uh, cleanup on, on Linux. You you run the, this uh, code. It will release the lock token, and uh, and if everything fails, you still uh, cannot release the token. You can restart uh, the server. Okay, once you restart the the server, and the the server will release all the lock token. Okay.